My name is Jeremy, and with hundreds of thousands of Quebec citizens, I took part in what has been called the Maple Spring that saw the Quebec government brought to its knees over a tuition increase last spring. This movement dealt a powerful blow to the neoliberal consensus being imposed on working people and students all over the world. In February of this year, the first picket lines were formed in front of colleges and universities around the province. And in weeks prior, in democratic grassroots general assemblies, students all across the province had denounced the planned plan tuition increase of $1,625 and voted to go on an indefinite general student strike until the government put back down. And those pickets held strong for six months. Yeah. And for six months, for six months we demonstrated. For six months we blockaded. For six months we occupied. For six months we collectively attacked a vision of higher education that would see higher education serve the needs of the private sector rather than society, rather than the Quebec people. And in May, faced with a choice between honest negotiation and repression, our government chose repression as it has always done in the face of strong social movements. It got an emergency legislation that forbids continuous protests, forbids student pickets, and accompanied these with uh, organization threatening fines. And in spite of those fines, in spite of those risks, we chose to defy that law, and on May 22nd, the largest demonstration in the history of Canada marched illegally against Bill 78 and against the tuition hike. On that day, we class had organized an illegal protest, a protest whose route had not been given to the police, and that route turned left on Sherbrooke Street. And some major trade unions had also organized a protest on that day against the law against the tuition hikes had chosen to be careful not and to give the route to the police. And their demonstration turned right on Sherbrooke. And what happened on that day is that 249,000 Quebecers turned left and 500 Union flags turned right. <laughs> Fast forward a few months, and this busy and arduous struggle finally achieved victory, yeah. just a few weeks ago. In one day, the newly elected government of Quebec cancelled the tuition hikes. It cancelled Bill 78. It cancelled user fees in healthcare. It closed down a nuclear power plant. It imposed a moratorium on shale gas development, and it introduced two new taxation brackets to fund these measures, taxation for the rich. A social movement had forced the state of Quebec to go against the neoliberal tide of austerity that isn't being imposed on the working people all across the world. And why did we win this victory? That is because we escalated. Our October 20th demonstration was the March 22nd demonstration. This was supposed to be the demonstration that would end all demonstrations, and it was. It was huge. It was the largest demonstration Canada had ever seen, but most importantly, it was followed by April 22nd, by May 22nd, by June 22nd, by July 22nd, by August 22nd, and right in the middle of an election campaign, until we have prevailed. Our strength lies not in lobbying, not in press releases, not in close quarters negotiations, it lied with co sustained collective strike action. <clears throat> while the media constantly attacked us, while the police beat us on a daily basis, we held our ground. And our organizations remain in solidarity between each other because organizations are not important. Ideas are important, demands are important, mass movements are important. Winning over social change is important. We must go further than symbolic actions, than rhetoric. Are the cuts symbolic? No, they are not. Are Osborne's plans for British workers symbolic? Are they, are they mere rhetoric? They are not. We must say to him, we will not back down until you back down. Yeah. Yeah. And match those words with mass movement building, with leverage, with strikes. And it will be tough, it will be risky, but we have no choice except one. 
as brick workers go on yet another general strike, as Madrid indignados fill the Spanish squares by millions, as Chinese factory workers risk their lives, face riot police daily, and walking out of their factories yep. without even uh, unions to back them up, as Quebec students marched for six months and face police repression and face state repression, finally won, we must stand besides the working people everywhere and choose the path of resistance. Thank yep. you very much. Yeah.